multi-annual uh, water rate and capital plan hearing uh, we're required to hold. Um, just as kind of a way of introduction, I thought we'd give you a brief water rate history in North Reading. 1996 was the last time we did a formal water rate study where we hired an outside consultant to look at the rates. Uh, prior to that, we had a three-tier system. In 96, we dropped that back to a two-tier increasing block system uh, at 484 per thousand, and then it jumped to 708 per thousand once you hit a certain uh, threshold. We actually kept those rates for eight years until 2004. Um, part of the reason we were able to do that, we experienced a couple of very dry years in between there, which means we subsequently sold a lot of water. When we sell a lot of water, that kind of helps us uh, stabilize the rates for a bit. So for eight years, we were able to keep those rates. By 2004, we were running into deficit situations. Uh, we actually implemented a fairly large rate increase to make up for that, 15.3% in 2004. Uh, 2005, we adopted a, a service charge of $5 per bill. Uh, if we go back to the 1996 rate study, that actually was recommended at about $7.50 per bill back in 96. It wasn't implemented at that time, but was adopted in 2005. Uh, 2006, we had a 2% increase on the two tiers of our rates. And just this past year, we implemented the seasonal rate, which had added a third tier back for the summer billing periods. Uh, one of the thoughts being that that would help encourage some conservation. A uh, water rate comparison of North Reading with surrounding towns. Our water rates are relatively high. Um, you'll see there's only one other community, Reading, that has higher uh, annual bills than North Reading in this group of, uh, this is mostly the Ipswich River towns with Andover and North Andover thrown in as well. Looks at 90,000 gallons per year as an average water use. Um, no coincidence that the two towns that are at the top of this are also the two towns that purchase a lot of their water from outside of their communities. Uh, most of you are probably familiar, Reading has gone away from the use of their wells entirely and is buying 100% of their water from the MWRA at this point. And as you're all aware, we buy a significant amount of our water from, from the town of Andover. Uh, rate structures, uh, flat rate and increasing block rates are about 50-50 in this, in this group. Um, we do have a seasonal rate as well as a couple other communities. There are three communities in this group that also offer a discount for early payment. Um, and then the service charge, which has always been a question here, do other communities charge it or, or should we be charging it? And there's a look, there's about five or six communities out of this group that do charge a service charge as well. So where are we? Um, FY08, Looks like we're going to generate a surplus of about $210,000 at our current water rates this year. Um, the two driving factors in that were we had a, an extremely dry summer this year, especially the second half of the summer. Uh, we had temperatures in the 90s, even in late September, and the high 80s, even into October. We had pretty much no rain from August, September to mid-October. Subsequently, under those conditions, as you might imagine, we sell a lot of water. We have a lot of outside watering going on. so. Projected expenses of about $3 million, projected revenue of about $210,000 more than that. Looking ahead to FY09, just assuming it's an average year, neither wet nor dry, uh, again, we're looking at a potential surplus of about $100,000 next year. Um, big driver next year is that the debt service in the water department drops by about $122,000 compared to the, the uh, debt service for this year. So if you look at the water rates currently, okay, things look pretty good for this year and next year. Um, but we need to take a look at the longer term picture here. Um, we've actually ended each of the last five fiscal years in a deficit situation. Um, as, as you note in the water rate history, we've made adjustments to the water rates in each of the last four years to try to, uh, to close that deficit. We've also leaned on the sticky fund, that's been our leverage that we've held out to the state, to, uh, to not take more drastic action in terms of closing that deficit. Entering this year, according to the finance department, the deficit had grown to $338,000, which is a significant number compared to our total budget. Uh, if we throw in the bill of prior year, we're up over $400,000. We've received notice from MassDOR that, they need, that they're looking for the enterprise fund to take the steps to get rid of the deficit in the current fiscal year, that entire $338,000 deficit, to take the steps to fully fund the cost to run the water enterprise and to stop the practice of carrying bills into the next fiscal year, the bills of prior year we used to, uh, to address some of our costs. Um, if you look at the $210,000 surplus 
that we're projecting for this year, you apply that to the $338,000 deficit, we're still looking at an end of year deficit of approximately $129,000. We've looked at a number of alternatives. Uh, there's some, some alternatives I won't go into, but we've got four primary alternatives we looked at in terms of closing that deficit. Uh, as you will recall, October town meeting did approve the use of up to $150,000 from the Sticky Reserve Fund uh, to fund debt service in FY08. Um, the first option, taking no action and relying on the Stickney Reserve Fund, that up to 150,000, that offsets that, that $129,000 deficit. Uh, we're not recommending that that be the course that we take, but that is that was the first alternative. Uh, the other three do relate to actually increasing charges. Uh, the, the number two option there: increase the service charge from its current level of five dollars per bill, one dollar on the service charge because we issue about 4,500 <coughs> $4, bills a quarter or 18,000 bills a year, results in about $18,000 in revenue per year. Uh, the option of increasing the water rates on one or more of the tiers by a fixed percentage, a 1% increase in the water rates translates to about $26,000 in additional revenue. And then the last option was to, we looked at was converting the seasonal rate to a actual full year third tier rate. Um, the seasonal rate captured us approximately $136,000 for the summer quarters. It's far less effective in the winter quarters because fewer people would enter that third tier. It's basically just our, our larger uh, users, but that would generate an additional $44,000 per year if we were to look at that. We took those alternatives. We met with the FinCom, the Finance Department, and the Water Commission and looked at what would these alternatives do? How would it impact uh, different <coughs> users in North Reading? We really looked at four different classes of, alt of uh, users, uh, starting from the left at low volume water customers using about 10,000 gallons per year, a medium volume at 50,000 gallons a year, a high volume residential water customer using about 200,000 gallons per year. That would probably be somebody who's uh, using water outdoors during the summertime. And then a commercial industrial water user at about 500,000 gallons per year. And you can see the top line, their current water bills range from $77 a year to about $4,600 a year for the high-end user. Um, option one, take no additional action, doesn't have any impact on any of the, any of the users. Uh, it also does not generate any additional revenue. Um, options 2A and 2B, we looked at what would be the effect of increasing the service charge by $2 or $5 per bill. Uh, if you look at that, obviously the low-end water user, person who doesn't use a lot of bills because use a lot of water because you're increasing a fixed cost to them, the percentage increase to those people is very high. You can see a $2 increase to a bill is a 10% increase to a low-end water user where it's just a fraction of a percentage increase to a high-end water user. <coughs> the option of increasing water rates, uh, on this chart presents a 2, 5, or 9% increase in water rates. Um, relatively self-explanatory, you know, it results in basically a 2, 5, or a 9% increase in the, in the annual billage to each of those people. And then converting the seasonal tier to a third tier water rate has no impact on the low, medium, or high volume residential customer. It does have a pretty significant impact on the, on the commercial industrial water. <coughs> so those were the, uh, the alternatives we looked at. We met with the, uh, as I said, the Finance Department, the Finance Committee, and the Water Commission. Water Commission had some recommendations. I'm going to turn it over to Steve Pizzazza, who's the chair of the Water Commission. Thank you, Mike. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, our administrator, members of the Finance Committee, <coughs> and ladies and gentlemen. The uh, Water Commission met in November to assess the situation uh, regarding the water enterprise. And essentially, uh, we came up with some goals to the board for consideration and going forward. And I think one of the fundamental goals is that we raise enough revenue to fund the enterprise. And I think our <coughs> Hillview Commission is a good example of doing that, and uh, the water enterprise certainly wants to emulate that. The, uh, the second goal is to eliminate prior year bills. We stopped the October town meeting catching up. DOR is on to us right now and, and uh, basically told us to
upon the enterprise. Um, what the Water Commission had uh, met and talked about, and Joe Fodis here from the commission as well, is to look to generate a, a slight or modest surplus as a result of the rates. And the reason for this is twofold. One is to build for future years the capital projects. And the first and, and foremost reason is to account for unforeseen circumstances. And Mark can tell you better than anybody, we've had a couple of those this season, i.e. Park Street and the Andover Connection. So naturally, we're not excited about bringing forward uh, a rate increase, but it, at the same time, we need to maintain a stable and affordable rate structure. And if you look on the uh, next slide, Mark, is that a down arrow or a side arrow? Page down. Yeah. That's, that's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> so bottom line is, generate that $100,000 surplus, we are recommending at this point uh, to the board the option of a 2% rate increase across the board in addition to a conversion of the seasonal rate to a full-time third year. <coughs> and that would, in our opinion, generate a modest surplus. What I find interesting is that you know, we, we talk about water conservation and the more, the better we get at it, the bigger the problem we have. Yeah, that's what I heard too. <coughs> I, I, I have a question. Yes, uh, if there's time. I don't know if there's, I don't know if there's them or not. Uh, you have anything else to present? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, Mark, I believe it's when you were speaking, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, I may have heard you wrong, but did you say that the adoption of the 2% across the board would have, it would have a bigger impact on the lower users? Is that correct? Did I hear you right? No, it was the... Oh, I'm sorry. No, actually, the, uh, it's actually, it, it's the uh, service charges have the largest impact on the uh, lower users. Oh, oh, I'm so, okay, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I asked that right away. I, I thought you said the other one. Thank you. Two percent. There's just two percent across the board. Yeah. For right. For That's why I asked it because it didn't make sense <laughs> to the way I thought I heard it. Uh, Phil. Um, the um, how, how many users are we talking about at the um, the option for the four hundred fifty-five dollars increase? Do we know how many users that is? Yeah, there's about. Forty customers that trip that high. And what's their average bill now? So four thousand a year. Well, their average bill. Uh, it depends on their usage, but if you look at five hundred thousand gallons, say that their usage, they go about forty six hundred dollars per year. Okay. So that's about a ten percent increase. I, I have one other question. The the slide back in the beginning. Shows a drop in expenses. Yeah. Shows a drop in, 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 in why? How did we figure that there was a drop in usage? <coughs> yeah, right there. Well, it's a debt service. Uh, retire, retire debt. Yeah, there's, a, there's actually two factors going into that drop in expenses. One is there's a 